Coming up on the Lakeside Loop, the forensics team goes to state. Rube Goldberg machines are made in general science classes. And freshmen learn to ballroom dance in PE class. The Loop starts now. Welcome back to the Lakeside Loop. I'm Jonah Osmankowski. And I'm Logan Wenzel. On Friday afternoon, the forensics team headed to Eau Claire to participate in their state meet on Saturday. Here's how it went. Greetings, Butler, and farewell. Um, what? I said, greetings, Butler, and farewell. Oh, okay. Thursday night, our family and friends came to watch our forensics because most of the time at forensics tournaments, they, they're not discouraged to come, but it's kind of awkward and weird. So this is an opportunity to, for them to come and see all our hard work in progress. I'm Caleb Wetzel, and I will be your roast host for tonight. Tonight's burning, biting, and degrading will be targeted towards the one, the only, Dwayne Johnson. On Friday, all the forensics people left a little early, and we drove up to Eau Claire and we went to the mall and watched a movie and just did a lot of different fun activities the night before and then on Saturday morning we all woke up super early and then headed over to the high school for our state forensics tournament. There were just so many different schools, I think there were like 45 different schools and they were all really big. So it was really a different experience than most of our other tournaments that we've been to. We got started and we had three rounds and you would just perform your forensics in front of different groups and a judge. Yes, Epcot, the one in Walt Disney World, was meant to be a technologically advanced society that people could actually work and live in. Speaking of bodybuilding, can you smell what the rock is cooking? Because it smells like B.O. <laughs> <laughs> The goal is to power once to the semifinal rounds and then after that to power to the final rounds. So you do your rounds and then to power means to make it to the next round where you do it in front of less people and more judges and then it's basically like another round but more intense. <laughs> I would never hear reason from the likes of you. You're a plastic knife, aren't you? You figured out my secret. Curse you, Butler. You're one of those fancy I think guys. pretty good, but I'm telling you right now, a lot of the seniors and uh, other people, upperclassmen, they're so much better than me. But I think I got at least third in each of my rooms. It's a tough fight, though. We had two groups power, and but we still got second place in our Division three. Second place with a total of 130 points, Lakeside Lutheran. Uh, I like forensics because it helps you sort of become more comfortable in front of speaking with other people and that can be really helpful for when you're out and about in the actual world. So, yeah. To end my speech for tonight, Dwayne, if for some reason you ever hear this speech, please wait about three years before running for president because I will vote for you. <laughs> I think this Mr. Lauber is like a super cool guy and he just really encourages people to come out of their comfort zones and try forensics if they've never done it or try it if they're like really good at public speaking even if they're not he really encourages them to like go out of their comfort zones and so he's a really fun guy to be around and it's really cool to see how he helps so many different people. The forensics teams play second in their division. Congratulations on another great season. That same Friday, Lakeside invited professional ballroom dancers to teach the freshman PE class to ballroom dance. One, two, good. Triple face, triple step your back your head. So basically we, we danced, which was a lot of fun, you know. This is something to kind of take us out of our comfort zones. And so we had a lot of fun. It kind of took the last two periods of the day, which was, you know, nice getting out of school. So we learned some basic routines, how to spin, you know, the, what to do with our feet. Did a lot of basic dancing moves for the most part. And having something like this kind of prepared us for, you know, prom coming later in the year. So it was very nice. 
and this kind of get us to introduce to new people. Triple step and turn, triple in place. When we were dancing, a lot, a lot of it was footwork, and most of the time people would be looking at their feet. It was kind of a rotation system. We had lines and every boy stood still and all the girls would rotate to a different boy like every 30 seconds or so. And it would kind of show us like if someone was a little unskilled and someone had met up with someone that was a little more skilled, they can kind of show them how to do it a little bit better and make, them, make themselves look good. I thought it was fun just engaging with new people, you know, engaging in dance moves with them. A few kids probably thought this would be kind of weird, but some of the, the teachers really knew it would be something that would be cool for us, so they kind of took us out of our comfort zones, and it was a lot of fun in the end. Another fun thing the freshmen got to do was make Rube Goldberg machines and general science. Take a look. Take 342. Come on. Go. Yeah! So we've been working on Rude Goldberg machines and we've been putting a bunch of stuff together from the classrooms and like making machines to do like a simple task. The goal here is to turn a page in a book. Proceed. Uh, our task was we had to pop a balloon and we were going to do like this big balloon with confetti in it but we just had a normal balloon but it still worked out. Alright so what do you think percentages it's going to work? Like 75. 75. Alright here we go we're popping a balloon. Yeah so we used like a pulley levers and then there's like wheel and axle inclined planes just simple stuff. No! <laughs> oh hey! All right, take 628. Yeah. Open the door by Bella and Tusher. Here we go. We got this. Nice and hard. There we go. Yes. Hey! I don't think it's angled right. Okay, so there's this one student who tried doing a pie in the face and it totally missed. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot to clean up. That launched the whipped cream. And that was funny because it missed. Good. Like we did like a bunch of planning with like on a piece of paper and like a blueprint and stuff and like answering questions and like what are we going to use. And then we worked on it and then at the end we had to change all that stuff that like didn't work. Alright here we go. Make Georgiana squeal. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Lakeside's annual Fine Arts Fair was this past weekend. After a couple of years off, it was finally able to be held in person. The Fine Arts Fair is a great opportunity for grade schoolers to share their musical talents, whether it's an individual performance or with their band or choir. Thank you to the music department for all of their work. Senior John Abel ran a marathon on Saturday, April 2nd, and he told The Loop all about his experience. All right, John, tell me how you're feeling. Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> what, what are the conditions like for your marathon here? A bit cold. <laughs> About 30 degrees right now. Yeah. But I'll warm up. <laughs> how long do you intend it to take? Uh, three, three and a half hours. Two, one, go! Uh, I ran a marathon on Saturday, and I... Uh, I was up in Waukesha, and it was the Trailbreaker Marathon, as it says on the t-shirt <laughs> that I got there. It was a pretty cold race, at least in the second half. Uh, it was the first half was going really well, and then once I hit the turnaround, it started to snow and, and sheets. 
It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. This is bad. Snow globe. <laughs> it was kind of nice, easy running. I started talking to this guy around mile like five, six, and he was running the half marathon. And I ran with him and paced off him. That's why my splits were a bit faster for those. I thought the course was really, really cool, especially once you got out into the woods. Uh, sadly, this year you could, we couldn't go up Lantham Peak on the Ice Age Trail, which would have been a lot cooler from what I've heard. But otherwise, yeah, it's a it's a beautiful course. It's all concrete because it's all trails. That's right, John. Only five more. The hardest part of the race was about 16 to 18 miles in, and I kind of got I. It's hard to explain, but I kind of just hit a wall. Like, I got so cold. John, 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 here we go. And I just went, okay, I need to go and just go go as far as I can. I kind of hit my second wind of sorts. It's, Keep her going, John. For anyone who's run, they know what a second wind feels like. It's just like, oh, I have more energy, and just go. Um, if you ever wanted to try a marathon, make sure you know someone that has, because it's hard to... It's not like a requirement, but it makes it a lot easier to actually know someone who can give you some advice. Um, going the distances, stick to a semi-training plan, depending on how fit you are. Just eating healthy. Cool down stretches are extremely important. If you cannot cool down, then your body will just absolutely destroy you after, any, after a while. One of the reasons I actually wanted to do this initially was uh, four years ago, this a senior, Max Thomas, wanted to, he Here ended up go, running John. Trailbreaker. You got and this. And he got a time of three hours, 48 minutes. Well done. Give or take a couple seconds. And I ended up beating that time by about seven minutes. I got three hours, 41 minutes and 22 seconds. And I was really happy about that. It wasn't necessarily what exactly what I wanted, but with the weather conditions, it was really good. Great work, John. We're glad to see all your hard work pay off. In call news, Mr. Austin returned his call and is staying at Lakeside. Mr. During holds a call to Minnesota Valley Lutheran High School in New Ulm, Minnesota to be their Dean of Students. Pastor Don Schultz was called to be Lakeside's principal, and Mr. John Dorn was called to be vice principal. These are both one-year calls. We also called Pastor Aaron Schumann to be our junior and senior religion teacher. And Mrs. Amanda Gronholz was called to be a new English teacher. Please keep all of them in your prayers. And now, you're in the loop. I'm Jonah Osmankowski. And I'm Logan Wenzel. Thanks for joining us.